universal law of cause and effect, Tao Te Ching, verse 16, calls the mind of self to be empty and open, the center of being to be still. Then you will be able to perceive the 10,000 events that rise connected, experiences and things grow and flourish in endless variation. And then once again, return to the source. The source is stillness. From stillness comes the cycles of creation. From stillness, they come alive, alive and in motion in the continuum of consciousness. To know consciousness is known as enlightenment. To not know consciousness leads to misery and error. To maintain an all-encompassing, expanded consciousness leads to an open heart. To be open-hearted is to gain rulership of self. To rule is to be like heaven. To be like heaven is to be one with the Tao. To be one with the Tao is to maintain an eternal life of connected consciousness free from exhaustion. So that was a lot, right? <laughs> and so the thing with that is to really realize and pay attention to the state that you're going to enter into, and then this is what it produces. First, calls the mind of self to be empty and open, the center of being to be still. Okay, so if I cause my mind to do this, then what is the effect? Well, the effect is then you will be able to perceive the 10,000 events that rise connected. You know, then experience, experiences and things grow and flourish in endless variation. Meaning, you know, it's infinite, the variables that you can create for yourself to experience and, and what things can grow into and evolve into. It's endless. It's infinite. And then once again, return to source. So in order to access that, that infinite possibilities, you have to cause the mind of self to be empty and open and the center of being to be still. And then once you do that, return to source. And then, that's, then it's saying what will be produced then. If you do that, if you cause that to happen, then here's the effect. You know, from stillness comes the cycles of creation. From stillness, they come alive. And then it talks about to know consciousness is known as enlightenment. You know, here's the effect. If you cause yourself to become more conscious, then you're going to be more enlightened. If you don't cause yourself to become more conscious, then it's going to lead to misery and error because you're going to become more unconscious. You know, so this, all of this is just displaying, you know, that your thought is caused and the effect of that is the manifestation of that thought. So I just wanted to kind of start off with going through, you know, these three different holy scriptures from three different parts of the world at three different time periods that are completely separate. You know, the world back then was nothing like today where I can call somebody up from China or I can call somebody up from India, you know, or I can call somebody up from Jerusalem right now and we can talk and talk about how did you grow up? What beliefs did you have? You know, these things are completely separate and this is how they interpret it the universe and the most high and their experience of self and evolution and soul growth and spiritual understanding, you know, and, it, and it's universal. They're coming to the same conclusions. And in your own life, you know, like I, like I say all the time, don't believe anything you hear me say. So anything you hear in this video, don't believe a word of it, but look within your own life, you know, and see if you can identify the, the thought calls behind the effects within your life. Sometimes it's a conscious thought you're aware of. Sometimes it's an unconscious thought that you're not aware of. You know, that doesn't mean, you know, like start blaming yourself for any you know, bad or negative things that happened to you because it was most likely unconscious. You didn't purposely do that stuff. By taking a level of personal responsibility, you then create an even stronger level of freedom to create anything, an endless variation of experiences.